Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Leblanc and today I'm going to give you a little tour of my studio slash gallery here at Sawyer Yards in Houston, Texas. So I am in the Silos building, number 306, and I'm here every Saturday between the hours of 12 and 5 o'clock. I'm also open by appointment, so if you are interested in meeting here outside of Saturdays, um, you're more than welcome to visit my website at www.rochellelebron.com. Send me an email and I'll be happy to meet you at the gallery. So just to give you an overall idea of what I have in the gallery. So I am a textile artist and I specialize in the hand hook surface. So there are hand hooked tapestries, there are uh, hooked sculptures, there are also um, some tools. So I, I have the Oxford punch needle, I have linen and wool fabric. That's for like the tools. And I also have a line of pottery. I started making pottery a few years ago when I made the sculptures because I needed stands. So I learned how to manipulate clay then and I have not been able to stop ever since. So there's a beautiful line of pottery. There's also a line of incredible silk scarves. So how I design my rugs, I start off with a sketch and then I make a little watercolor painting as a color plan. So I've decided to take those watercolors and get them digitally printed on silk. And they're all hand finished by me. And there are several patterns. There are several shapes. So please, when you drop by, take a look. They're incredible. Um, I also have copies of my latest book, Finding Home, A Rug Hooker's Journey. And it'll talk, it talks about my process, a little bit of my background, where I come from, where I grew up, and there's also a catalog of my work. So here we go. So this is one of my scarves on the door. As you can see, it's pretty long. It measures 84 by, 70, uh, 84 by 24. And it is the watercolor painting for When Sorrows Come. These here are rugs that I have made for an online class, a portrait class. Um, that I offer online. The next one starts in September 1st. So take a look at my website. It's called Rug Hooking People Master Art Class. This is my cat. That's a miniature punch needle made with thread and embroidery floss. This is my Oops, let's take that bottle out of the way. This is my pottery. I really love this pottery. I think I'd be pretty happy being a full-time potter. My favorite thing to make are mugs. I could make mugs all day. And I love this little blackbird pie. I've made several. I have a whole collection at home. <laughs> and this is the crossing. I also have under September sky here. That was the first rug I made when we moved to Alberta. It's my daughter sitting at the park along the Sturgeon River. This is another really beautiful rug. It's very large. It's called Reve um, Revelation. This is my latest work. It's 
called When Sorrows Come. And this is the finished hook surface tapestry um, that used that watercolor painting that I first showed you, that scarf. This is Seated Child. These sculptures are so much fun to make and they're entirely made with wool fabric. And I use the Oxford punch um, instead of a hook to make them. This here is the hand. So in order to get the yarn, the same color as the, the wool fabric, I take the fabric and I unravel one thread at a time. And that gives me the yarn so I can make the hands and ears. It takes a long time, like four days just to get enough yarn for two hands. This is Bird, uh, Girl with Butterfly. It's one of my porcelain sculptures. This one here is a very, very, very large rug. You can also hang it straight on the wall, just like a rectangle. Here, I'll back up so you can see it. It's very, very large. If it is in rectangle form on the wall, it measures 72 by 64. Beautiful. This one took almost 500 hours to make. So it took so long. You know, rug hooking's a very slow process, but I can't stop. It's just beautiful. This is a self-portrait. And these are the, the clay stands that I was talking about. These beautiful little butterflies. This is a rug called a picnic. My daughters and my husband. This is one of the latest sculptures I've made. Plastic floats forever. Uh, his life jacket is made entirely by, with HEB grocery store bags and toilet paper bags. Um, during COVID, we weren't allowed to use our reusable bags at the grocery store and we accumulated a huge pile of these bags and I had no idea what I wanted to do with them. So I cut them up and made a life jacket for this little guy. This is the line. These are the, this is one of some of the scarves that I have for the silk scarves. Um, I grew up in a small town in New Brunswick, Canada and we had a little store called the pop shop. So this is the pop shop bottle and a plastic bag pattern. It's garbage floating in the ocean. It's beautiful. It's 36 by 36. This one is of a pond. This one here is again the same pop shop bottle and garbage bag floating in the water black and um, blue and black. This is it. It's a huge, huge scarf. 54 or 52 by 52. It's beautiful. And this is When Sorrows Come. This beautiful scarf. It's 52 by 52. And it's completely done. Oh, wait. The hem is all completely hand stitched. This one takes at least three hours to finish. This is one of my latest pieces. I finished this last week. It's part of a triptych. So this one will go, it's a center figure. I'm working on the other two pieces that go on each side right now. So it has these yarns. So this piece is the first in a series of uh, hook tapestries that is both hand hooked and uh, machine tufted. So with the fabric loops are hand hooked and then the yarn loops are made with a tufting machine. 
This is first steps, and here are my Oxford punch needles. Three graces. And this little guy, I haven't decided what, how to call him. I think I call him Constellation, but I'm not sure I like that name. So I will definitely take suggestions if anybody has any. And then this is Slumber, or Snug. My daughter, Emma. The first day we brought her back from the hospital. And this, the cushion I made by hand. It took over two weeks just to stitch this thing. It's beautiful. And then I have the, another a flat display of the, the scarves. And then I have the gathering. Lauren picking blueberries. Embrace. So these are 3D uh, hook circus sculptures. And I have also this tufted little rug and a rug that shows all kinds of materials. There's silk saris, there's plastic bags, there's denim um, and wool, wool yarn. I still have to finish it. And so here I have some wool fabric. And some linen. So this is my beautiful art gallery. Thank you for dropping by. I really hope you will come and visit me. I love talking about art and rug hooking. So please, please, drop by, I'd love to meet you.